So what's after the penultimate batch of panels? Anybody? That's right, the ultimate batch. Woohoo! And I'm not referring to ultimate as in great, fantastic. The Latin derivative meaning of the last batch of panels. Oh man, am I excited about this. This is the last significant construction build that I have to do, which is the cabinets in the V-berth on the port and the starboard side. It's also the last major job on the post-it notes list. And oh, I've got to explain something. I had in mind originally pretty much to have lockers going the whole way down on both sides. And because there's more room on the port side with having the doorway in the bulkhead oriented on the starboard side, I was going to have somewhat of a small desk kind of about here on the other side of the bulkhead. But in spending two days really nutting out what I wanted and what would work and what makes a lot of sense and also what is very user friendly, I've come up with quite a different idea. And I must say, I am really, really happy with the design that I've come up with, which means they are both going to be pretty much the same with a slight difference. There's a bit more room, as I say, on this port side. So the space there is a little larger. Wait till you see it. I think it really does look good. But even more than that, the design makes not only good use of the space, but I think the design is kind of modern, makes it very user friendly. As always, if you get something out of this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. And as I always say, leave a comment because I like reading what you have to say. Now let's get into it. So the last main furniture build item that I have to do in Mistress, and also the last item on my list of 10 things to do on the inside of Mistress, before I turn my attention to working on the outside, are these two V-berth cabinets. Now I've actually been thinking about these for years, and of course in the recent months more so. And the reason for that is the design of these is obviously wide open. I could do so many different things here, including leaving it the way it is. But of course, that would be silly. So I do want to put some cabinets in here, which will be obviously user friendly and look good. And so it really has left things very open for what I could do here. One thing that I do want to do, though, as I've been thinking about this, is I don't want to just have just lockers kind of working their way down. So my thoughts are to have lockers with some hanging space aft of this locker space, and then on this forward end, basically have a bit of a shelf and then lockers below that. The other thing that I wanna do, I've noticed since I started sleeping in the V-berth here, which now is a couple of years ago, the main bulkhead here which I'm happy with, however, is not high enough to stop pillows from falling over. I have noticed that, so another thing that I want to do is just basically get these cabinets to meet this bulkhead, just to provide a bit more of a lip. So I'm really needing to knuckle down and come up with a design here, putting tape measure, ruler and pencil to paper to come up with something that I can make a start with. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a start and I think just work it out as I go along, which like all the other work I've done on Mistress, I think will unfold in the doing. So whilst there's a lot of work going on elsewhere, sort of ticking things off and completing them, I wanna make a start here so that I can get this finished, more or less in line with getting everything else finished.
So to explain with what's going on here in the V-Birth, man, getting the design sorted for this was actually the hardest part, breaking the back about what the heck was I really going to do with this space really was quite a challenge. And the next part of the challenge was just starting and getting the first piece in. Now that I've done that and I'm on the second panel, which you can see here in place, I feel like I've got the momentum behind me and hopefully I should be able to roll with this so that getting the rest of it done is the short part of the equation. My original plans, just to mention, were to basically have lockers the whole way and then once I started to really make a start a week or so ago on what the design was going to be that came pretty quickly not the best use of this space nor user friendly so what I've got here just to explain it's divided into three areas this side here is going to have a door on it and a coat rail so that that gives hanging space for clothes that you might want on a coat hanger but that space there is, as far as I'm concerned, on a boat this size, way too big. I really can't imagine me needing that much space for the shirts that I've got. Of course, all the girls are going to be screaming, what? That's too small. So what I'm going to do with that space is on the inside and fixed to this panel dividing those spaces is put some small shelves just sort of open where you can put socks, jocks, panties, whatever three shelves in there which I think will just make a better use of that space. Below here is going to be one panel that'll have a door cut out which will be hinged providing access to that whole area and my idea is just to hang somewhat of a soft cloth linen bag so that all you do is pivot that door open and throw your dirty clothes in one side. On the other side is a space where you could put shoes and again whatever just sort of light bulky things then on this side it's going to be divided into three shelves one two and then supported off the top here three the idea with that will be the bottom here will just be a small shelf for whatever for you to throw in there another one which will be open so that when you're in the berth you can put your books phone, keys, tea slash coffee mug, cold drink, an area that's open where you can put things. And of course, everything will have fiddles around it so that nothing rolls off. And then above that will be two lockers with the opening similar to what I did with the cabin two storage. So there we go. One shelf, two shelf, three shelf, which will be open. Another little shelf below, again with a fiddle coat hanging space as well as three small shelves fitted to the side a bottom area for your linen and bulky things and i am really happy with that design so much so that i'm going to copy the same thing on the port side
So this is it, the last batch of panels of any sort of size that I need to build for Mistress. <laughs> oh man, I will have some very small shelves to make for these and ahead there'll be some small cabinets to be made. But man, this is the last lot of panels of any sort of reasonable size that I need to build for the inside of Mistress. This is definitely a milestone. So now all I need to do give them a sand so that they can be epoxy coated, two on each face, three on the edges per usual, and then the ones that need to be painted white, those faces will then be undercoated and polyurethane top coated. Woohoo! These V-Birth cabinets really are significant for me. I do hope and expect for many things to move quicker now. And look who's back with the warmer weather. See you in the next episode. Please give me a like to help me out. It's a very easy thing to do. Subscribe if you haven't, which will really help me in my efforts to grow this channel. Please check out my website also where you can find some merchandise, again, to help support this channel. Leave a comment because as I always say, I like reading what you have to say.